I'm Dave Messersmith uh, with Penn State Cooperative Extension, and we're back here again with Dr. Terry Engelder. And Terry is a professor of geosciences uh, here at Penn State University. So Terry, thank you for joining us again. Uh, we appreciate your time here this afternoon. Uh, the topic of this clip is to discuss Marcellus well production and have Dr. Engelder give us a feel for what some of the uh, Marcellus wells are producing, maybe some averages and some uh, ranges of production. So. Uh, Terry, I guess maybe first of all, is there, uh, do we have enough uh, well data, or do you have enough well data available to you uh, to begin to understand what the range of production numbers are from? Yes, we do, Dave. In the core area of the Marcellus, we have a range of production from horizontal wells, and we've seen that production vary anywhere from 1 to 2 million cubic feet a day. This is the, the low end uh, to a, an average well that might produce somewhere in the order of four to five million cubic feet a day to a really great well and I've seen initial production range in anywhere from 10 million up to uh, 24 million cubic feet per day for an initial flow test. Now these flow tests might be 24 hour flow tests, they might be 30 day flow tests anywhere in that in that particular range. So those numbers are an average of gas produced over those time periods? Yes they are. The value of the well itself is indicated by the initial production rates. And again, the, the, the more firm value is that 30-day production rate. Often uh, with the Marcellus, wells behave in such a way that one can then make a, uh, an extrapolation for the overall production of these wells based on what's happened during that first 30 days. And of course, obviously, the total value of the well is very much a function of what happens in those 30 days. Now one of the other things I should point out is that operators uh, uh, learn a great deal in drilling wells and generally what happens is the more time passes, the, the better the operators are at completing their wells. They discover what works, what doesn't work, and, and production generally in, increases with each successive well by some increment. Okay, well Terry, thanks for sharing that information about, about well production data. Um, and be sure to join us again with a, another clip from Dr. Terry Engelder.